Are you experiencing sticker shock every time you go to the store these days? Inflation, it's on the rise. Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver is here with the latest details numbers and new numbers have been released today. Tyler, what can you tell us? Yeah, and for, it's not getting better. We see that numbers in December actually up more than what we're seeing in November. That's up 4.8% on an annual basis and gas prices leading the way. No surprise, Canadians are paying 33 33% more at the pumps than they were one year ago. And in BC, that's been exasperated by the flood disaster that cut off supply and imposed restrictions for a number of weeks. And you also need to point out that, that the grocery store prices are going up at a rate we have not seen since November of 2011. Prices are up 5.7%. So as you say, no surprise if there's any sticker shock, but uh, Bank of Canada expected to tamp down on inflation in the coming months with at as many as three rate hikes for its overnight rate that could kind of get things under control, but it's still a very tough go for Canadian mm. consumers right now. Yeah, it's one of those double-edged swords. Gets things under control, but then makes some things not so great on the other end. So we'll have to wait and yeah. see what they come up with. Okay, uh, this is a big deal. Microsoft is getting huge, humongous actually. I think they're number three now when it comes to the gaming sector. So how is that going to impact Vancouver's gaming sector? Well, it's interesting because the company that they're acquiring, Activision Blizzard, uh, for this deal that's worth uh, almost $69 billion US, well, all three companies have gaming studios or gaming supporters here in Vancouver. So that means a lot more consolidation within the industry. So those gaming companies include Demonware and Treyarch, owned by Activision, as well as Microsoft's The Coalition, which has more than 300 employees here. So we're talking about games ranging from Call of Duty to Gears of War. These are all big, big titles. And look, the industry has remained very buoyant throughout the pandemic here in British Columbia. Number of jobs have grown between 2019 and 2021 by 19% to reach 8,700. So we have to keep our eye on this. Big revenue coming in. The executive director of DigiBC, the industry association, they'll be canvassing their members soon to find out whether, you know, the, what this means with regards to consolidation moving forward here in the industry. Yeah, no kidding. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us today with those big stories in business news. That's Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, Jennifer.